Who's this guy? Let's go. Yo, what's up everybody? You know what it is. Another old school RuneScape video and we're going to be banging out some Moons of Peril Dungeon. That's where you fight the Blue Moon, the Blood Moon, the Eclipse Moon. That's where you get the new uh, Moon Bloody Gear or whatever. We're going to go do that. It's easy as. Let's get into it. So once you've done the quest Perilous Moons, you'll know where this is. So I'm going to pull up the world map real quick. Once you come into the antechamber here, this is the first chamber, you want to take this route. So you take this door here, it'll lead you into this room, and I'll scroll in. So you just follow this path, around, around, cross the bridge, and then it'll take you up here, up these steps, and then this is where we start. So once you get to this spot right here, you want to right click this, take from Herblore Supply Crates, you get two vials of water, of water, Come over here to the collect from grubby sapling. I don't know why it's so laggy, but it's annoying. You just want to grab two, two of them. Crush them up in the pestle and mortar. Use it on the water. Drop the other two. And that gives you two moonlight potions. They're only dose three. I think it's a chance of getting a four, three, two dose, whatever. But, so these are super combats and prayer potions combined. Next, we're going to use our big net on the fishing spot. So this big net, butterfly net, and the pestle and mortar can all be obtained from here. Supply crates. Let's go. It does take a while to fill up your inventory of these uh, raw breams. But once you get it, let's go cook it. Cook the bream. Cooks fast as. And then from here, we just turn and we head this way. And we're going to start the first boss. So we're going to start this off by facing Eclipse Moon. Weak to stab. Let's go through. Come through. There's a statue. Statue, bro. Okay, so all you need to do is pray piety. No protection prayers. Pot up. Use statue. I'm going to use my crystal halberd first for the specs. And then chuck on the fang and defender. Pray piety and we're in. Yes, bro. Stop asking me yes and don't ask me again. Every time I say don't ask me again, it asks me again. Oh, stay behind the ball. So this one, when it spawns up, you got to stay behind the ball. See how I'm behind it? And he'll shoot it, and it doesn't hit me. Oh, a bit laggy behind. But it's fine. Okay, run to the highlighted tiles. Pray piety, spec him. Oh, I missed. Yeah, there we go. Another spec. So I'm on low detail. If you're on normal detail, you'll see multiple circles around. But I only want to see the highlighted ones, so... Ah, oh, I didn't spec. So just hop on the highlighted tiles. Oh, bro. Run back. There we go. Okay, turn off piety. Th oh, no, turn it on. This phase, he'll spawn clones. Click in their direction. That's it. Try and do it as soon as they spawn. Click, click, click. Doesn't have to be perfectly on them as long as your character sort of faces them. Oh, you can do it like that. Oh, no, you can't. Okay. So, yeah, click in their direction and you'll attack them and they won't hit you. Again, the faster the better. There we go. Back to the highlighted tile and attack. Come on, put them down. Next highlight. Ah, oh, bro. Some misclicking. There we go. Next one. And sit. Oh, no. 3 HP. Come on. 1 HP. Here's the ball. I'm going to stay behind it. Go. Oh, I'm too early. He's going to hit me. Sorry, I should be right here. There we go. Hey, he still hit me. What? Anyway, stay behind it. Don't lag behind. He's only got one HP. There we go. Highlighted tile. So again, I'll just say I'm on low detail because my computer sucks. If you're on normal, you'll see circles around. But the main thing is stay on the highlighted tiles when you attack him. So after that boss is done, you'll spawn here. 
You want to right click on here, make a cuppa that restores run energy. And again, if you want to, equip your butterfly net, catch these moonlight moths. They restore your prayer. Why not? Free prayer. I'll take it. There we go. Full prayer again. Eat some food. Why not? It's all free. Eat as much as you want. You can always get more. Okay, I'm going to wield my spec weapon. And so once you've finished restoring your prayer and drinking your cuppa at the stove, you want to run east. And there's the next boss. So this one's weak to crush. I'm going to run it with my spec weapon. Does it have a crush option? No. Stab, slash, stab. Okay. So I'm just going to run him, spec him, and then equip my crush weapon, which is the zombie axe. Run here. Again, pot up. Oh no, I don't need to. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Pot up. They're all free pots. Pray, uh, you can see he's got a phase going on, so I'll just wait till that phase is done. There we go. Pray piety. Get my spec ready, and we're in. There we go. Spec him. Run to the highlighted. Can I get another spec in? No, I can't. Here it is. Put my crush weapon on. So this one, hit the ice. Step off it. So you got to go to the highlighted iceberg. So punch it, kick it, whatever. Step off. Punch, kick it, whatever. Step off. Punch, kick, whatever. Step off. So during this phase your weapon disappears, but you get it back, don't worry. Now we just wait. Wait for him to spawn up. I still got piety on, who cares? Free prayer pots. There you go, highlighted tile. Attack, and again, I'll say it again, I have low detail on. On normal, you'll see these circles unlit surrounding him. Next one. So every two hits, again, he changes spots of these highlighted tiles. Make sure you stay on them when you're attacking them. Next phase, he spawns these tornado things. What you want to do is run to each side of the room, light these braziers. These tornado things damage you and turn off your run. Who cares? Don't even worry about dodging them. Don't even worry about it. You got heaps of food. Put the run on. Heaps of food. So if you get hit, all good. Just eat up. There we go. So that's two braziers lit. And I'm just going to wait in the middle. Turn my run on. There, it got turned off, but that's fine. So I'm just going to eat again. All good. And now we just wait. Party back on. Hit him. I could spec him, but I don't want to. There, he's done. Easy. Let's go. Now once that boss has been taken care of, you'll spawn here. Again, right click cooking stove. I don't need to. I've got 95 run, but who cares? Free run energy. Why not? Now we're going to run east from that cooking stove. Run up here. And here's the last boss. So this one's weak to slash. I'm going to equip my halberd. Or equip. Put my slash weapon up the top. Let's go in. Okay. Here we are at the statue. Gonna pot up. Pray piety. Oh, he's got a phase going on. I'm just gonna wait. There we go. Phase is done. We're gonna piety up. Spec on. Run in. Make sure it's on slash. Yep. Hit him. Oh, no. Run to the big hit. Nice. Another one. The big one. Boom. That wasn't as big, but another one. Nice, put on my slash weapon. Okay, so this phase, highlighted Jaguar, attack it. This blood spawn, step on it when it's just about to disappear. Try and time it when it's just about to disappear. And then click back on the Jaguar. So just about to disappear, click on the Jaguar. So back and forth. Almost disappeared, there we go. Almost disappear. Click on it. There you go. Back to the highlighted tiles. And hit him with your slash weapon. Every time he does damage, I think he heals himself. So whatever. It is what it is. This guy. He was Derek guy. Next one. It always goes clockwise, so... All good. Bro, hit him! And next phase, this is easy as. 
There's blood spots. Don't stand on them. If one comes under you, move away. If it doesn't, don't even move. Oh, there's the highlighted tile. Piety back on, and we're in. Chuck in some specs. Do you want some specs? Here we go. Boom. Another one. No, run. I should probably eat up. Flash whip him back on. Ah, oh, it's going to make me go through another phase. That's alright, we can talk about it again. Highlighted Jaguar, attack him. When he spawns his blood spot, just before it disappears, step on it. Just before it disappears, step on it. So you can kind of time it by the sound effect, when the sound effect stops. Oh, that was too, that was too late. There we go. Highlighted tile, there it is. Can I get him out? Yeah, with the speck. Let's go. Boom, done. So yeah, that's all there is to these bosses. Thank you, Iknil. The moon... Shut up, bro. So, once you've done that, you want to head south. Because that was the last one. We can go claim our award. Get away, Nugwa. So I'm going to run down here. Run, run, run. Pass through entrance. And here's the reward room. What are we going to get? I think it was Justy Man. Hey, bro. Okay. RNG, come on, bless me. Not blessed. Thank all. And we're going to run it again. So yeah, from here, once you've claimed, you run north. Don't go west or south. Run north. Pass through entrance. Head north a little bit more. You can catch those moonlight moths, get your prayer up. And we're back where we started. And you want to rinse or repeat. Or, if you got enough supplies... Come here, straight back into it. So yeah, that's how I do it. That's me. I'm out. I'll catch you leaders.